I'm going to show you how to set up step by step the Hisense Smart TV with Google TV. This is the A6 series. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and turn your TV on. Wait a while until you come to this area here where you have to choose the language. I'm going to go with English here. I'm going to select on English, select your country or region. I'm going to go with the United States. Now from here it's optional, okay? You can set up Google TV or you can set up as basic TV. You can see the difference here. Even if you go with the basic TV and you want to go up, set up Google TV later on, you can do that after all the setup later in the future as well, okay? But for me, I'm going to go right away. I'm going to set up with Google TV right there. Select on OK on the remote. So now on here it says set up with Google Home app. Download and open the Google Home app on your phone to get started. When instructed in the app, scan the QR code. So you can go that route, or if you look on the bottom down here, it says set up on TV instead. May take longer, requires typing with the remote, okay? So for me, I'm gonna go down here and do it this way. And I'm gonna connect to my home Wi-Fi network here, which is right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and input my Wi-Fi password. Then once you put in your Wi-Fi password, we're just gonna go down here to the Check mark, okay that on the remote. Okay, it says connected, checking for updates. So from here, use the Google account or basically the Gmail account that you want to sign, sign in with. Or if I click the back button here, if you don't have a Google or Gmail account or you want to use a different one, you can create account, okay. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my Google account email in here, Gmail. And after you put in your email, you just want to go ahead and go down right there. Select on OK. And then on the next page here, go ahead and enter your password to your Gmail account. After you put in your password, you can click on Next there, or you can just go down to here. Select on OK to proceed. Go ahead and read through all these and accept. Go up to accept, click on OK on the remote. And these are optional down here, use location and help improve Google TV. So you can, you can uncheck or check that's up to you. For me, I'll just leave it on. I'll just go with accept here. Stay in the know, stay up to date on Google TV related features, services and offers. So this is optional. You can sign up now or you can go no thanks and then sign up later if you wish. I'm just gonna go with no thanks here. It's Google Assistant here, we're gonna continue. Search across all your TV apps. So this is optional. You can allow or no thanks. And so it's optional for myself. I'm gonna go with no thanks. Activate voice match on this TV. You can agree and then, and then later on you can change it and uh, not activate it. It's up to you, okay? So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and agree. Get personal results, okay? This is optional. You can turn on or no thanks. Up to you. For myself, I'm gonna go with no thanks on this one. Choose your subscriptions, basically apps that you want, okay? So I, I'm just gonna keep, pick a couple here that I have a subscription to, but it doesn't really matter because you can always download these later on after all setup is done as well. So I just picked these three, the YouTube, Disney Plus, and Max, which I do have. I'm gonna go to confirm. I'm gonna click on OK on the remote. So this is the part where we're gonna pair our remote. To pair the remote, what you wanna do is hold down the, the home button, it's right here, and the back button. Hold both of these at the same time for three seconds. Make sure you're pretty close to the TV. Home button, back button. I'm gonna press and hold for about three seconds here. Okay, a little bit longer, but there you go. It's checked right there. Enter your zip code, enter your location to quickly find your service providers and set up your TV. That's optional for me, I don't need that, so I'm just gonna go and skip that. Terms and conditions, privacy policy, you can go down here and you can read through all three of these down here. If you wish for myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and go and select all of it. And then I'm gonna go over here to accept, to proceed. Here's the wake up when the screen is off. This is optional, you can even skip it and do it later. But for me, I'm gonna turn mine on because eventually I'm gonna hook up my PlayStation 5 on here. And then once I turn the PlayStation 5 on, I want my TV to come on automatically. So for myself, I will do turn on. Register your TV. We're going to go to next here. You have Apple AirPlay and a HomeKit on here. So your iPhones and iPads, you'll be able to AirPlay, basically screen mirror directly to the TV. Let me click on next here. 
Setup is complete. We're going to go ahead and select done right there. Installing those apps, the Disney Plus, YouTube, and I think Max that I selected earlier. Okay. Come on. Your Google TV experience is ready. So you can start exploring if you want. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just click on the home button. But your first time using it, just go ahead and go through the little uh, tutorial and whatnot. Anyway, there you go. We're all set up, ready to rock and roll. All right? Good luck, guys.